Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do your scooter with the bent on it. Alright, so a lot of people, when they're doing backsplashes of bathrooms and there's a corner, they miter it, which looks okay if you um, know how to do it and do it cleanly, but then it's still a sharp metal edge. So what I like to do is bend it, and in order to bend it, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is... You have an L, right? So you have two measurements. Start with the first one. For me, it's 18 and 1 16th and make a mark. Now, the, the key to get a good bent is to get rid of the extra material from the back. So we're gonna start with some snippers, I think they're called, and just get rid of the extra material towards, towards that edge. Now, I know people that can do this just by hand with a file, but I like to make my life easier. And after we've taken off some material here, this is, we're taking it off. So by the time we bend this, it's not in the way and it doesn't overlap. So now I'm going to show you the next step. All right. So I'm, when I'm cutting Schluter, I always have a miter saw set up with a uh, metal cutting blade. This is a non-ferrous cutting blade if you try to use a regular blade is going to be an issue so make sure your your blade can cut uh, metal so now we're going to line it up with our mark right there and we're just going to Cut a little bit more on both sides. All right. Now what I usually do is I grab a piece of tile with the with the factory H90, and I line it up with my line. Notice how I haven't cut the other side length. That's because we want to do our bend first and then cut it to size. Usually, if you measure both sides before you do your cuts. Um, you end up with a shorter uh, return. So we want to bend it right now. Boom. We want to do it over a little bit. And then, so that's our bend right there. And now we can do, I think my measurement was um, one and three. Okay, so now, okay, so now I'm going to check. We have the 18 here. And now I need one and five eighths so i'm gonna mark that and then cut it This is the edge of the wall for the second measurement I measure from the outside. That's very important. You always want to make sure whether you're measuring from the inside or the outside because there's about an eighth of an inch difference here. And if you don't do the measurement correctly, you, you could end short an eighth of an inch. It's okay if you're long because you can always trim it. But if you're short, you pretty much have to start over. One thing you got to know is not all Schluter can be bent or not all metal trims can be bent. That's because you can't bend it but some of the finishes, when you bend them, actually show some stretch marks and it looks pretty ugly. So on those, you're gonna have to miter. On this white one, it actually bent pretty nicely. You don't see any marks. Let me show you. But there are some that I tried uh, where when you stretch it, you know, it starts showing white or, or metal, you know, like aluminum color in between the finish. And of course, that's not gonna look professional. So I hope you understood the the process remember to subscribe and hit the notification button if you have any questions comment down below and i'll see you on the next one